and so we return. Now, to continue off to from where we left off. Destroy the keep out stuff. I don't care. I will go in if I want to. I'm a thief. I'm getting stuck. Okay, Bentley. Hey, Sly! I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty-looking gate? Well, no, it's it nasty. the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb boots. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure. Like that ladder there? That is correct. But do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Climbing on a ladder? No, that's too illogical for my taste. Okay, anyway. Like I said, getting all that is a clue bottle. Those green jumping things? Yes, that is it. I am going to collect all 20 of them. That is an enemy. You kill it by hitting it. Okay, Bentley pretty much just said that there are clue bottles scattered throughout the levels. And you, um, uh, yeah, they unleash a code. Bentley needs 20 to crack the code. Bentley needs all the one to level to crack the code. There just happens to be 20 in this one. So, yeah, I'm going to be getting all the clue bottles in the game if I can. First, I'm going to go up here. I'm this rope like a ninja squirrel. Help people get that. Okay, now I'm going to jump down here so I can get this clue bottle over here and show you how a logical climbing up a ladder is. You you don't we climb up ropes and pipes and stuff, not ladders. No, this isn't happening. Now we can jump in. Yeah, those are searchlights, don't get caught. Oh you see it'll explain. One careless step and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You're just whining. Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Yeah, this will give you trouble. This might give you some trouble first time. Wait for them to stop, run in between them, hit this, and jump over, dude. Ninja stars, jump, kill them. Yep, that's how I handle them. Go back and kill Raleigh to get some clue bottles. That's not a mole. There's some coins in here too. That's pretty good. Oh, going on there. Yes, doing that thing cuts off everything. Here's a checkpoint. You Now if I die, I come back here. That is good for El Pierce. A little tip. Kill the bees to get some coins. Oh. According to my yeah. amphibial positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? I think it's weird. The rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. Probably get to my way. Okay, little tip, like I said, kill the bees and you get coins. I found that out by complete accident. Now this guy breathes fire. I kill him. Now, clue bottles hidden right down here. Get him. Yeah, this water will push you down, so yeah, I jump to avoid that. Jump on the rocks here. Water can't touch you, obviously. Get the clue bottle. Get more clue bottle. Fifteen to twenty. Only five more. Sweet. More tutorial. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto the hook. I love how Sly repeats everything Bentley just said. Don't you jump off with X, obviously. These things move, and water kills you because Sly can't swim for some reason. Can raccoons swim? Leave in the comments if they can, because I don't know. Hammer guy. Making sure there's no clue bottles. Nope. 
Now there's gates. You can't jump through the gates. Ah, uh, that was close. This thief run is hard for the sole purpose that you have to wait for these gates. I'm gonna be stupid and get the coin. I'll get him later. Oh, oh. Nope, can't touch me. You die. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, if your cane touches the coin, you get it. Now, here. Yeah, that, that, when the clue bottles. When you get all the clue bottles, Bentley will tell you the code for the safe. That's the key. We don't want that yet because we're getting all the clue bottles. Or, wait, no. No, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna be safe. Not get it. To run up here, get the rest of the clue bottles. Should be up here. If not, I'm in trouble and have to do, yep, they're all up here. Two more up here and then we go open the safe. Hey, we win. We won't get all these cutscenes starting later in the game, luckily. We obviously get a cutscene when we go in here because Bentley's got to tell us. I already pressed the circle. The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. So go 7912. And we open the safe. Bang. And we'll get a pet little Thievius Raccoonus. I'll be getting the Thievius Raccoonus ending, by the way. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. That is what the triangle button does. It does special moves in this game that you get by unlocking here. See, and this is the dive move. I don't use it too much, but it's okay. At first, I thought it taught you how to swim. And I killed myself. It does not teach you how to swim. Okay, let's get the key. Two percent of the game. All right. Open the key. Here. Open the door with the key here. Seven minutes on the first level. Wow. Okay, I'll go. I can fit in the hub here. At least I hope I can. Oh yeah, this game has a hub. I like hubs. Hubs are cool. This game is not as good as the Sly 2 hub or in Sly 3 hub, but oh well. No clue bottles in the hub. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Robbie's really as smart as his police file suggests, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Maybe I'll like forward before I open it. gonna get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Yeah, it says you only need three for the first part, but get all in the area because you're going to need all the keys to get to the final part. Like I said, horseshoe life system. I said that in the last video. No, wait, video before that. So you get a horseshoe. Now I can take a hit. Oh, wait. I've got a hundred coins. Now, yeah, a hundred coins gets you a lucky charm. Lucky charms. Don't be lucky charms. Okay, I'm good. Anyway, a hundred coins gets you a horseshoe. It'll be great. That means you can take, what, two hits before dying. A golden one means you can take three hits before dying. And from then on out, if you get a hundred coins or collect a horseshoe, it just gives you another life. So yeah, you only get three hits in this game. Which, it sounds pretty cheap, but it's not. It's not, this isn't really a hard game, to be honest. It'll kill you a few times your first time through. But once you get it down, you won't die too often. Except on the final area, because it's pretty hard. Anyway, yeah, I paused it because, yeah, 3%. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. I'll turn it off. I'll keep recording for the night. I should, should upload quite a bit in a day because I get bored. I can beat this game in a day. I just may not do it today because it's too late. Well, anyway, I'm good. See it.
Yeah. Goodbye for now.